Thanks very much, Joe. Uh, let's take a look at the weather. How's it looking today, Nazanin? It's looking rather wet for this morning, particularly across uh, many parts of England, Wales and for the Republic of Ireland. Most of the rain is now cleared from southern Scotland, much of Northern Ireland and Northern England, though. And we are starting off with sunny skies over Scotland, but there is the risk of ice here for this morning. So just be aware of that if you are travelling across the parts of the north of Scotland in particular, where there are also showers for today across the Northern Isles and some of these will be turning wintry over high ground. Some snow is also possible across the hills and the mountains of Wales for northern parts of England and the North Midlands but uh, generally at lower levels we are looking at rain and the rain does look rather heavy across the south to begin with but it will eventually ease through this afternoon. In fact it becomes much drier across the Republic of Ireland by around midday and uh, it will also turn drier and brighter across northern England, the North Midlands and Wales by this evening but I think the far south of England will still see cloudy skies for the rest of the day and damp conditions and quite windy across the southwest. 15 is promising to be a bumper year at the box office here to take us through some of the must-sees of the next 12 months is Anna Smith film critic and journalist at Metro great to see you Anna uh, is, it, is it a bumper year ahead or are you looking forward to it with great excitement or yeah a lot of work for the likes of me I mean we've got Star Wars first of all obviously this is a huge deal one of the most anticipated films in a long time almost a year to wait to see that but a lot of excitement about that a lot of the original cast returning along with new ones new youngsters so something for all the family JJ Abrams at the helm of course who did Star Trek so I'm quite hopeful about this one let's take a look at a clip of it then. this time next year and is it exciting because of the whole Disney thing that's right I mean yeah. Disney taken over now so to see it with a new distributor and you know the studio is it's but hopes are high after the last few were a little bit disappointing yeah, so yeah, yeah. Uh, and another film part of another big franchise is of course the bond film that's right we've got spectre in october yes daniel craig is back so it sounds like it's going to be more of the same i mean skyfall was such a treat mm. i think you know if it ain't broke don't fix it and, and i think if they if they go along with a skyfall kind of vibe i'd be very happy i didn't mm. know what to make of the statement that monica bellucci is the first middle-aged bond girl yeah i, that little I bit. don't think she's middle-aged no, no. <laughs> isn't she the, the, meant to be the oldest Bond girl. Yeah. She's yeah. Well, something, isn't I don't it? know how old she is. Is she in her 50s? I would uh, say 50s. 50s. Yeah. 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 Astonishing for a Bond girl. Absolutely stunning. Say. Yeah. How yeah. dare yeah. a yeah. woman be in her 50s and glamorous? <laughs> <laughs> Very dare she. Exactly. Uh, another <laughs> film uh, which uh, may be glamorous, may not, may, may, may sort of in a, in a way uh, be about an awakening like Star Wars was Fifty Shades of Grey. Of course, it was <laughs> That's a huge. Right. It was <laughs> awakening yes. of a different kind. It was a huge hit last year uh, in book form. That's right. That's right. And I mean, uh, yeah, I'm not, I don't know if I'm looking forward to this or I'm intrigued. I'm, I'm very intrigued to see how it turns out. The trailer looks um, interesting, a little bit trashy. Of course, the book is very trashy, as anyone who's read it knows. So the whole point is it's appealing to the kind of the twilight, grown up a bit, sex in the city kind of market. And I'll be interested to see if it fulfills that obligation. It is interesting because I think the book was successful amongst, you know, a lot of people, a lot of older women, women they yes. said. And it was successful because a lot of people read it on their Kindle. So they were right. able to read it perhaps on the tube, on the train, <laughs> <laughs> quite privately. But it's a bit different going to see a film, isn't it? That's true, actually. It's more public statement, isn't it? Something a bit risque. But I think it's something that may appeal to groups of girls, you know, on a, on a girls' mm. night out. Dare we look at a clip of it? I think we should. <laughs> Let's have a look. That's right. I mean, very comparable films in, in many ways. He's sort of British hero, you know, inspiring story, a fantastic true story. But um, Benedict is absolutely brilliant. But I think Eddie will be hard to compete with simply because that kind of portrayal of a, a physically disabled person is often the kind of thing that does get a, an Oscar because it's such an extreme role and it, and it challenges you so very much. But Benedict was terrific as well. He, he does seem to have rose in the last couple of years to, be, to become this real British superhero himself. And he's going to be in Hamlet, isn't he, at the end of the year? That's it, right. On, in theatre, which is going to be that big hot ticket of the autumn. Well, I think Hollywood's loving British men more than ever at the moment yeah so so he's in at the right time yeah. uh, another film that, that you've highlighted is going to be a big one of the year and this is big eyes now i don't know a great deal about this film but it, it's about uh, the painter margaret Keane. that's right and it's amy adams as stars as margaret Keane. In, in the 50s and 60s she painted these pictures of children with very large big eyes quite strange pictures but they appealed to sort of a cult market um, but her husband walter Keane, played by christoph waltz here actually took credit for the paintings passed them off on his own because nobody buys lady art he says uh, so you know so it's an interesting story of a kind of sexist relationship as well as a kind of inspiring one.
Let's take a peek. Really big swerve, too. I haven't seen anything terrible yet, but I'm sure there are many to come as a film critic. I mean, the summer brings a big glut of blockbusters, and you know, you've got Avengers and you've got Mad Max, you've got reboots, you've got remakes. But remaking Point Break, I'm a little skeptical about that one. Not it was sure. such a great. It was Catherine Bigelow, wasn't yes, it? Point Break. Absolutely. It was, you know, yeah. that was an amazing film. Yes, yeah. Um, so, you know, I, yes, I, it remains to be seen, but um, as usual, I'm sure there'll be a fair mix of rotten. <laughs> and what about Oscar season? Has it been a vintage year for, for British talent? We talked about Benedict Cumberbatch. Eddie Redmayne. Um, what about the other big films that we should be looking out for in the Oscars over the next couple of months? It's all going to start heating up, isn't it? Uh, well, Whiplash is one to look out. Sort of a quiet film, but but very very strong. There's a lot of critical love for it. That's about an, a drummer played by Miles, Te Miles Teller, who's absolutely obsessed with drumming. Um, Wild Reese Witherspoon, and also uh, Jessica Chastain for a Most Violent Year. But I think uh, still Alice is one to watch out for. Julianne Moore, best actress ah. contender there. A lot of strong dramas. A lot of strong dramas yeah. coming up, and uh, yeah, fantastic. I'm also looking at the list of films coming up the next over the next year, and Unbroken, the Angelina Jolie film. We've not mentioned that, mm -hmm. but that's uh, got a strong British cast as well. That's out now. It? Yes, Jack O'Connell. Great to see him. Joe, thanks very much. Uh, time now to take a look at the weather with Naz. Which of those films are you going to be buying tickets for? James won one, of course. <laughs> but if you want me to link from film into weather, for much of England and Wales and the Republic of Ireland, it is looking like Fifty Shades of Grey this morning. Oh, see what I did there? Oh, darling. <laughs> 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 <